And let me tell you, that line was terrible. However, we made it in finally, eventually, and we got our tickets, which was awesome. And then they gave us a tote, first in line tote. So they had three books with their authors there, and you could pick two of those and have them signed. And then they also had three more books, arts, that you could pick two of. And remember on day one of BA when I didn't take Gemina, the sequel to Illuminate? Well, I got it this time, and it's signed, so that's pretty awesome. I also got The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, which um, is also signed. That was my second one. The third one I actually had already on first day, so that's pretty cool. And then the other two books that I got were Beware That Girl by Teresa Toten and And I Darken by Kirsten White, which I'm super excited, and I've actually pre-ordered on Amazon, um, but I have it. And it looks beautiful, and I don't know what it's about. Yet again, terrified pawns, privileged captive, desperate rivals. No one expects a princess to be brutal, but they can be the most brutal of them all. That last line I added. I'm looking forward to reading it. It looks beautiful, and it has a spear on the cover. And there's princesses who apparently get brutal. So that's cool. And then this one is Kate O'Brien appears to be a have-not. Her whole life has been a series of setbacks she's had to sneak her way out of. Some more sinister than others. And I'm not going to read anymore because I don't want to spoil myself and the blurbs on the back tend to spoil sometimes. But I'm so looking forward to reading them. And of course I had to get some pins so I have a few and all of them say first in line, um, always the first to read the last line. I read Girl in Pieces before you did, that was the other book that I had. Um, I read Gemina before you did. I read And I Darken before you did. I read Beware That Girl before you did. I read A Totally Awkward Love Story before you did. I think I have that book also. And I read The Fever Cold before you did. I don't remember these two, but I think I have them. I should have them. Pretty sure I have them. And also on the tote itself, you could write what you read before anyone else. And I honestly kind of blanked, so I ended up writing A Court of Thorn and Thorns and Roses because that is the first thing, the first book that popped into my head just then. Oh, and also, first in line, I also had these posters. They're signed The Time for Lies is Over from The Maze Runner. And it's just really cool. Now the next book that I got was Untamed by S.C. Stevens, which I don't remember where it wrapped from, actually. I do believe it's a romance. The spotlight doesn't only shine, sometimes it burns. Oh yeah, it does that. Addicting and heartbounding, you won't be able to put it down until you've devoured every word. Christina Lauren, New York Times bestselling author. I didn't really get a whole lot of books on... Book con, I mean, most of them you actually had to pay for, and the authors they all needed wristbands, which I didn't like. I said I didn't really go for in the mornings. So, after the first in line event, I, I decided to go back to where they were giving out the wristbands and see hope that they had some Leopoldo Gout wristbands left because I had seen him on the schedule and he was at 5 30, which is like one of the last signings, and I was really, really hoping that I could get a wristband, and I did. But there was still some time until 5.30, so I ended up... Um, I was really over lines at this point. I should just let you know that, because for the last two days of BEA, I had just been standing in lines, and I was tired and exhausted, and um, I just I just wanted to see if I can catch a panel or two and just sit down for a little while. So before I left the expo hall, I kind of walked by... by a wall that was the muggle wall and there was it was just basically a big white canvas where you could write what Harry Potter means to you and I accidentally stole my pen I didn't mean to but I was like so excited that I didn't realize I still had it in my hand until after I had gone way far away and then I was just too tired and lazy to go back so now I have a blue glittery pen 
Anyway, so I was able to go to two panels. They were back to back in the same room and they were pretty awesome. The first one was Friendship is Magic with Alexandra Bracken, Susan Dennard, Sarah J. Mass, and a guest appearance by Victoria I I have and that was actually a really cool panel. They were talking about female friendships in literature and pop culture and it was really amazing and it was totally awesome. They totally geeked over something and just started talking to each other, like discussing um, as if we weren't even there, which was really cool because we got to see a side of them that we don't usually see, but they're total nerds, which is awesome because we're all nerds. So it was like a kinship. So that was really cool. And then the next panel was YA blockbusters from books to film and beyond. And it was Cassandra Clare, James Dashner, and Rochelle Mead. And it was moderated by Anthony Bresnikan from Entertainment Weekly. And uh, that was, again, they were talking about their films and how, like, their experience as authors whose books have been turned into films, like, um, the, the, their involvement, the process, um, any future products. So that was also very cool and informative. And it's really cool to see Cassandra Clare and Michelle Mead um, right there because I was on the first row, so they're right in front of me, which was really cool. And then James Dashner, who I've seen the Maze Runner, but I haven't read the books yet. But he was really cool. Like he saw me taking pictures, so he made like a really cool pose. So that was really awesome. And then of course the moderator did a great job uh, just asking them questions and uh, he was moderating very well. <laughs> and then I had a little bit of time to kill, I mean I could have gone to Hannah Hart's panel but I wanted to be first in line for her meet and greet for which I had won a ticket which was pretty awesome because that meant that I didn't have to line up in the morning to get a wristband. And it was literally just, hey, I'm Hannah, hey, I'm Elena. Uh, we hug, we talk for like 30 seconds, and then we take a picture, and then off you go. It was still pretty awesome to meet her, and I got a picture. So that was pretty cool. And I also got a buffering button, um, and I'm super excited for her next book, Buffering. So that was pretty awesome. And after that, it was time to go back to the expo hall and autographing area because it was time for my autographing for Genius the Game by Leopoldo Gaud. And this is a book I've already read, I already have it, but when I found out he was going to be there, I just had to meet him and tell him how awesome the book was, and he was actually really excited to hear that. So that was a pretty cool interaction, and um, yeah, I got the signed, and it was really cool meeting him, and I'm looking forward to reading more of his books, really. And this book is absolutely amazing. It's basically told through three different perspectives of three very different people. Each person is a genius in their own field and um, they've met online, they've never met in person, but they're best friends and each has their own like family situation going on and each has their own story to tell and they meet uh, finally in the States for this game Basically, whoever wins it will get to work with this really mega um, big entrepreneur, CEO, and visionary. And basically, it will change the world. But the revolution happens, and there's more things happening behind the scenes, and it's just really awesome and intriguing, and you should definitely read it. I've literally been recommending this to everyone. Seriously, it's awesome. And that was pretty much my book con experience. Not a lot happened during that day as far as getting new books, but I did have some pretty cool panels and I met some pretty cool people. So overall, it's been a great success. If I ever do this again, I would definitely want to would, would want to go to both BE and book con again. However, for book con, I would probably do the same thing I did this year, which is go to panels because that is um, that is what I needed that day with being tired of lines and I was still able to enjoy myself I still got some pretty cool books. I still met some pretty awesome people and Overall, it was a great experience. I couldn't unfortunately I couldn't stop by the owl crate booth because the line was literally insane and uh, I just didn't have the time unfortunately, but I hope that I do get to meet them at some point. This is the last one for my 
a recap for BA and BookCon. I hope you've enjoyed this. All the other ones will be linked down below, so make sure to go ahead and check them out to see what other books I got. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!